A question I get asked every so often is why is H2O a liquid while H2S is a gas? So if we look at the Lewis structures, H2O and H2S, they're very similar. In fact, oxygen here and sulfur, they're in the same group, same column on the periodic table. But water at room temperature, room temperature, standard temperature and pressure, water will be a liquid. H2S, that'll be a gas. The reason is hydrogen bonding. Water undergoes hydrogen bonding. So here's the criteria for hydrogen bonding. We need to have hydrogen atoms and we need to have an element that's very electronegative. Nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, these are the elements that'll undergo hydrogen bonding. So H2O, that has oxygen. But H2S has sulfur, that's not on our list. So H2S won't undergo hydrogen bonding. Both of them do have at least one lone pair. They both have two lone pairs, but again, sulfur, that's not on our list. So sulfur won't undergo hydrogen bonding. That means water molecules with hydrogen bonding, they'll stick together. They'll be closer and they'll be a liquid. Well, H2S, they'll be able to spread out and form a gas. Let's see what that looks like. So we have a water molecule here, the red, that's the oxygen, the whites are the hydrogens. The oxygen is more electronegative so the electrons in the bonds here, they'll be around the oxygen more, and that'll make this side of the molecule, the red side here, more negative, and the blue, where we have the hydrogens, that'll be more positive. So you can imagine another water molecule comes along here, and they orient themselves. So the positives and the negatives, they're lined up because they're attracted, and that forms a weak bond. We call that a hydrogen bond. So if you have a bunch of water molecules, they're going to be weakly bonded together. That means they're closer. That means they're going to be a liquid. H2S, it doesn't have hydrogen bonding, so it remains a gas. This is Dr. B discussing why H2O, water, is a liquid and H2S is a gas at room temperature. Thanks for watching.